welcome to the Receipt Podcast. I'm Gus. There's um, g- eventually. I'm Gavin. There will be a Gavin there. I'm Carrie. Hi, I'm Barbara. And I have a crush on every boy. Every boy, arrow. <laughs> uh, and I'm Gus. I was uh, like, you have to say it. Don't yeah, yeah. Exactly. Can't, can't leave you hanging. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I have to <laughs> say before uh, I forget is, don't forget. Uh, for a limited time, we have a special deal on first memberships. You can get a year first for forty five dollars. <laughs> That's uh, over 35% off. You can enjoy this podcast. Uh, uh, all our great shows ad-free. Just go to receipt.com uh, slash sign up. Uh, use code FIRST45, first and number four and number I five. I know you're saving up to buy the new Call of Duty. I've heard it's like mid. Just don't get it. <laughs> Just get a year first instead. It's fine. A it's, whole year. Yeah. And cheaper. Yeah, play Apex. It's free. You'll, you'll have room for an indie game. Oh, yeah. Between, yeah. It's true. Yeah. I think they made, I think they made call, the new Call of Duty like 70 bucks now. Did they? I think they finally like. Is that what it costs? I think so. I mean, it's a, I mean, the, I want a sticker of Joe Biden saying I did that, like next to like seventy dollars uh, <laughs> video games. Can we make that happen? Just get the yeah. do the Face Jam ones. Face yeah. Jam has those stickers with the guys that says I did that. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen them. Yeah. They yeah. Put, put some of them around the office. It's really funny to it's, see them. You know, I guess it's that time. I just don't know when when I was a. I'm like I want to be mad, but go ahead. Be mad. At yes. the same time, it's like when I was a little kid, games were like 50 bucks. And that only changed, like with the 360, they went up to like 60 bucks, that was, right? Yeah. Uh, but that being said, even then, there were some Super Nintendo and some N64 games that cost more. Yeah. Uh, just because they were cartridge based. Because uh, a lot of times it depended if they could save or not. Or like at least for Game Boy. Like. Right. Well, also with like SNES and N64, they did that thing where sometimes they would put additional processing power in the cartridge. Yeah. Or you had to get the the add-on thing for the N64, yeah. the memory. Uh, it so was. it's like now. plus everything's more expensive now. Yeah. Um, I, I it's been decades. <gasps> Kevin almost ate shit off camera. I, I, would been, I could I could see why they want to increase the price. It still sucks. <laughs> Eat shit on camera if you're gonna do it. We're talking right. about uh, Gavin. Video games would be more expensive uh, now. Seventy call, bucks. Uh, hey, it's Gavin. Hey. Ga- video games are seventy dollars now. Thoughts? That's a lot of money. Yeah. it is. But I guess they're more expensive to make and take longer to make now. So I, I don't feel like know. some do and some don't. Like, how much was the Last of Us remake? Mm. Was it also like probably around seventy bucks? I think it was probably sixty. Sixty. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, Last of Us. Part. I just, I just like no, just like the first. They just did a remake of the first one, right? Yeah, and yeah. part two, obviously. But the yeah. Last of Us remake cost seventy dollars. Wow. There you go. Yeah, and that's for a remake. I mean, th- they did a lot of work into it. But, I know, no, totally. but but yeah, I mean, it, but. It, it, there is something to be said about like as much as rework as they did, there is that much that they already had. Yeah. Done. Um, not to take away from it, but sure. it's just like I feel I feel like there needs to stop being standard prices of games because it's like I've gotten more playtime out of indie games, some indie games than I have like a full triple A game. Like so it's like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Bucks, yeah. You can spend like twenty five bucks and get like tunic. Cult or Cult of the Lamb. Or Cult of the like Lamb. Twenty or thirty bucks and I played that. <laughs> yeah. I could not put that game down. I can't beat the final boss. I, I, I got so it's so hard. I had an interesting thing with Cult of the Lamb where I got to a certain point of the game. And I put it down, and in my mind, I was like, I've, I've. Hey, welcome to the podcast, Gab. I've had, <laughs> a, a meh. I've had a good amount of time with this game, and I don't okay. feel the need to go back and finish it. That's fair. It's like, I feel like I got my money's worth. I know the game. Like, I may pick it up and finish it, but I don't feel like I've got to go finish it. I feel like my attention started drifting. I was like, that's fine. I got more than my money's worth out of that game. I don't need to finish it. That's fair. I mean, yeah, if you want to quit, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're a quitter. Yeah. Uh, but to step back a <laughs> second, shy, shy. you mentioned The Last of Us. Did you see the trailer for the HBO show for I The did. Last of Us? I did. That came out today? Yeah. I didn't know they were making that. Looks pretty good. It, it looks, looks great. Good. The ca- I think the casting's great, too. Yeah. I'm a, a big fan of Pedro Pascal as Joel. I think that's yeah. a mm-hmm. really I'm good choice. I'm a big fan of the, the actress for Ellie. She was uh, oh, yeah. the, the, the actress from uh, Game of Thrones. Yep. Oh, really? Yeah. She was, uh, well, she was um, the head of... Shit. Uh, what was that house? The it bear. Mormont. Mormont. House Mormont. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it? Was that after season two of Game of Thrones? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's, I only watched the first two. That's I was going to yeah. say. <laughs> but yeah, the trailer looks really good. That show's coming out next year. Yeah. I'm I, excited to see it. I'm, I'm, same, same director or showrunner that did Chernobyl, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always super skeptical of video game adaptations to like shows or movies. It's like, especially with like The Last fair. of Us. You've already got the story. You've already, like, it, they, they spent. 40 hours or whatever like right telling that story um it's not like the sonic movie where it's like they have to like make up <laughs> yeah, <you're laughs> right. what the story is because the game is just go fast to the right get rings yeah, <laughs> yeah. go fast to the right that's the whole movie <laughs> that's keep going right yeah they just have a really long dolly yeah for the it's just like a single movie. shot 
and camera just like, going this way. Yeah, different speeds to the right. Do you, still, do you still hate um, Lord of the Rings? <laughs> Rings of Power. So, are episode, you watching it, Carrie? By the way, I was gonna wait. Okay. So I haven't yet. I don't care about spoilers. We won't spoil though. I, I I've heard like mixed things about it. I, I thought the first two episodes were boring. I thought the third episode was great. Then the fourth episode went back to boring, and I haven't watched the fifth episode yet. Mm. It's so. <laughs> The, 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 and I'll, I'll tell you, I think I figured out what, my, what I don't like about the first two episodes. I think the first two episodes, not enough gets explained or not enough happens. Where there's a lot of like teasing stuff out. Mm. And I feel like if they had taken the first two episodes and maybe jammed them together into one episode, mm. it would have been better. Because like the first episode ends on a cliffhanger of something happening. And then the second episode does nothing to further explain that cliffhanger. It's just like... Mm kind of teases it out longer throughout the whole episode and even by the fourth episode it's not really even fully explained yet it's still kind of mysterious you, you can kind okay. of guess what's happening and yeah. if you know the story you know what's going on yeah but i feel like it, it kind of uh it's 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 not giving enough information it's and like teasing one, things along a little too slowly no frodo right no no, no this Bilbo. is like thousands of years before or, mm. before Lord of the gandalf Rings. So it's so it's dealing with. Do you remember the be very beginning of Fellowship of the Rings? They talk about Elondil and um, also I Isildur. Thousands. It might be a thousand. Sure. I'm not sure of the exact. It, it, it's is Isildur the sword guy? Yes. And his mm -hmm. sword gets smashed. Yes. Yeah. Elondil and Isildur are characters in this show. Okay. So like it's way before what happened. In Lord so of the his Rings. sword's totally good. He, you, I, as far as I've seen in the show, you haven't seen the sword yet. Oh, okay. I assume it's. I assume the sword will happen at some point. Sure. Yeah. Did he cut off Sauron's hand? Well, we already saw that in the beginning of Fellowship. Yeah, but well, you think it'll go up now. to that? Maybe. I don't yeah. know. It's not canon now? Well, isn't this, like, isn't this completely different? Oh. No, no. It? This is all before. We're right, right. I guess, I guess what I meant, like, it's not a, uh, like, it, if, if, if. I think it, it's, it's all. Pretty disconnected, I think though, it's still. all adapted from the Silmarillion. It is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's not like these stories were necessarily written as. Is it, isn't the similar just a bunch of short stories? Yeah, the similar really is kind of like reading an encyclopedia or a history book. Right, and you're and surprised that some of them were boring. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's very dry. So, I mean, that's the that may be part of the problem. The source sure. material is very dry. And um, so they're trying to flesh that out right. and make it uh, Sexy up a little bit. More, more entertaining. And, and I, the, one of the other problems I have with that show, and I was complaining to Gavin about this the other day, is I feel like the intro for that show doesn't do a good job of hyping you up to watch the show. Mm. The intro is like, it's got very slow uh, music and it's like very soothing visuals to go with it. It's a beautiful right. intro. And if you know the story, like you understand what it's supposed to represent. Uh -huh. But if you're just watching it, it's like, I'm just watching a bunch of sand. Can you give me an it's example of an intro that does hype you up to watch so, the show? Dun, 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 yes. So okay. there are, I think there's two different ways you can approach it, right? Like, like either dun. an intro that dun. hypes you up and gets you excited or an intro that gets in and gets the fuck out like Breaking Bad. Sure. Where it's like just the couple of notes of music yeah. and then this title and then that's it. What do you think the Westworld intro? I love the Westworld intros. Okay. I think the Westworld intros are really good because... That's quite a mellow one there. I found those pretty long too. But... but the thing they do with the Westworld intros is they give you information about what's happening in the show or what will happen in the show yeah. if you watch it. Like at first, it seems very abstract, but then as you watch it, like oh, this is all very tied into what you know, I'm about to watch. I feel like mm. the music for the Westworld intro gets me into a good state of mind to watch. Like it's mellow, mm. but it oh, gets me it ready does to hit a certain point though, where it like goes into it. And it's like Pah. yeah. Yeah, and yeah, it's like I'm action. ready to I'm ready I'm ready to engage and fully invest like that the Westworld intro engage. I never skip like you know you have the option yeah. to like I never skip the Westworld so, intro I have a question about Rings of Power um, with Lord of the Rings I don't know too much of the lore oh. of the Rings uh, but nice. does music have a lot to do with the shaping so, of because the thing I do the, like about the Rings of Power intro is that. It's that technique of when you use music on a on a flat surface that moves sand yeah. to be shaped, which I thought would be cool if there's like a music component to how the music shapes the world. So that, that's an actually an excellent point. And that you, what you're re, what you're describing is the reason that they made the intro that way. In mm. the lore of Lord of the Rings, the world was sung into existence. Mm -hmm. uh, so what you and and there was the song was slowly corrupted by Morgoth. Which is why, like, partway through the intro, you see that black sand start creeping in yeah. and creating, like, a dissonance within the song. It sounds very cool. 
Uh, it's. I think if you know the lore, right. it's a very cool thing. But I feel like it's not accessible to people who aren't <laughs> readily yeah. steeped in Trevor it. Trevor loves it. Yeah. He, but he's very much steeped in the Lord of the Rings lore. And mm-hmm. he knows it pretty well. Whereas I saw the movies when they came out mm-hmm. 20 years ago. Yeah. Uh, and then that's it. And you so love like, The Hobbit. The <laughs> three. I don't even know if I've. I might have seen one of the hobbits. That's I don't okay. even know. But they were like, in the barrel with the GoPros. I barely remember anyone's <laughs> names. I fucking what? hate that shot. Sorry. The, the, it's very controversial. Shot. Like oh. they're in. It's in the first movie. It's the in the first, they're it, in barrels, like going down a river, and, and it's very go- obviously like it's GoPros filming them. Because like, well, like, like especially when it came out, it was like not that long after Avatar. And like they're experimenting with like the high frame rate movies and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So it's like you go yeah, to the it's theater. Like 48 frames. Yeah, 48 frames a second for like certain parts of it at least. And I think I saw it in 3D too. So it's just like very yeah. technical experience as well. Yeah. And then all of a sudden there's just like a GoPro 3 footage being used. <laughs> and it just looked like just dog shit yeah. in the middle of this. Not like, like a multi million dollar no. film. That's what I was saying. That, you would remember that if you saw that. Oh man. I, that's the only, like, I, I hate was, to say that. That's like the, one of the strongest memory I have that, of the Hobbit movies. That guy named J Lo in chat is saying the GoPro scene is actually in the second movie. The that's second, what I thought. I, I thought yeah, it was in the second movie. That one. was the only Hobbit I saw. And I had no idea what was going on. And, or anyway, and I was like, is that a GoPro? And yeah. like, <laughs> and the second, is, the, is it the second movie that ends in the middle of a fight? It's like they, I they, Think they so, find yeah. Smog and they're about to start Smog. the fight and they're like, yeah, and he's like yeah. fucking the town up and then it's like credits. <laughs> it might be <laughs> what? The, yeah. Yeah. It might be like, the worst middle movie. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the fight just started. Like no one gets the satisfaction of it at I, all. Also, do you know how you can watch that movie in 48 frames now? Mm. No, you can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you do whatever. Do you know how? No. <laughs> you can do whatever yeah. fucking people do to Ruby is where they'll, they'll re-upload fight scenes at 60 frames a second oh, that God. they've just interpolated. Oh, and that it looks like of... shit. <laughs> like, I, I hate it. I hate it so They're much. Like Why do you do that? Was it you, Gav, who, when you went to see Dune, you were looking down when it said part one? <laughs> <laughs> so I was looking at my food. <laughs> so you thought I did Because it, was, it wasn't in the marketing at all. <laughs> I was like, that was interesting. Uh... <laughs> like, a, like a non-ending ending. <laughs> yeah, and everyone was like, yeah, I can't wait for the other parts. I was like, oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> sweet. Nice. Did you see the, the GoPro shot in Dune? It was pretty crazy. Like they're going down a sand dune in a barrel. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a GoPro. And, and they actually, actually used looked, a GoPro three. It actually looked fine. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just like when I watched all of Lord of the Rings and I forgot to watch past the first disc of the final movie. God. And I realized I'd never seen the end. Yeah, didn't never see. And the the other the problem with the end of Return of the King is that movie ends like seven times. Yeah, yeah. there's like that I remember. Yeah, there's like you're like okay, the movie's oh, oh no no it's still going fade out fade oh, in okay no fade movie's out, oh, no no in. no still going <laughs> like oh my god the movie's ending for forty five minutes. Yep, there's those are long movies. I mean, yeah. they're good. There's a lot of meme worthy stuff in them, but they're good. So yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, just never remember when uh, uh, my my roommate Alex and I always talk about. It's when like Frodo gets hurt and he, uh, what's the elves town? Rivendell. Rivendell. Yeah, yeah. He, like he wakes up in Rivendell, and Gandalf walks in the room, and he, Frodo just goes, "Gandalf." Yeah. Gandalf. <laughs> like the funniest. Fucking I'm song. wondering too. I I have a theory. I don't. Want, I have no idea if I'm right or wrong because I know nothing about Lord of the Rings. But there's one character in Rings of Power. Who's like part of the like the people who like become the hobbits? What are the Harfoot? Harfoot, um, the like main girl. She kind of looks like Elijah Wood, interesting, just a little bit. And so I'm wondering hmm. if they're trying to insinuate that there's like a very long like a type of yeah. lineage or relationship there. Yeah, I don't know if that will be the case, yeah. but like uh, to answer your earlier question, there are no hobbits in this show because it predates even the hobbits' existence. Oh. The creatures that it. There are Harfoot in the show, which are like the precursors to hobbits. Yeah. Like okay. hobbit ancestors who were nomadic. Were they shorter or taller? Have the hobbits gotten smaller? Or smaller I want to say these? they're a little taller. Just based off how they look next to Damn. other Maybe, characters. They got fucked up. But there was that first shot of them when like the hunters are walking through the field. True. And the Harfoot looked really small there. True. I haven't seen enough comparisons okay. to say. Yeah. I tried reading the Similarian like a long time ago. I just couldn't. It's do it. I love Lord of the Rings. Obviously, I just I same. couldn't do it. Yeah. I've tried. I, I I know this is coming from a person that that in the in the Hobbit books, you could translate the dwarfish, mm-hmm. and I did, <laughs> <laughs> and I got bullied. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't get to the similar. And I just couldn't do it. I, uh, is that the piece of content you think you've tried the most times to do? 
I've tried reading the Silmarillion. I, I, I can't. I'm, I'm with you. Like, I love the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. I'm, f- I'm familiar with the content of the Silmarillion because I want to know what happened. But I, man, I can't. Con- I feel like there's other content I've tried repeatedly to try I to get into. I have mine. The Wife one I've tried four times and I can't do it. What mm. is it? Witcher 3. Oh. I know it's a good game. Everyone says it's great. I know I would like it. I just can't get into it. I can't start it. It's How? too much. Oh. I'm overwhelmed by all my pockets and oils and <laughs> potions and yeah. salves. I don't know where to put anything. That I don't know which like, sword to use. I want to wipe pockets. on it. <laughs> <laughs> I just need someone to sit down with me. And take me through like an hour-long think, training course on with, how to uh, do what I'm doing. Isn't there going to be a Witcher Three remaster soon? That's, That's what I'm waiting me. for. Yeah. Is it going to be gonna seventy dollars? Like... Yeah. <laughs> Double the salves. <laughs> That's all. I hate that word. I've been playing. Salves. I'm the same way with Mass Effect. Oh, right. Really? I've just never like because the first one's like. I've heard like not first as one's really. Not great. I loved number two. Yeah, so but that, that's I, I love number two as well. Uh, God, but like the problem is like I, cool. I feel like I shouldn't just start with two. You can do one of those, um, like mini uh, episode one recaps. Yeah, where you like watch basically like a graphic novel. You make a couple of decisions and then imports the decisions oh, into really? two. Yeah, huh? Hmm. That way you don't have to. Maybe I'll do that. Go through the. But there mm. are very cool moments in one mm. that affect things later. There's no sex though, right? Um, I know you can get down the second one. I banged time. a lot in the second one. Yeah, I know you, yeah, you get... My knob was good and wet the whole Whoa. time. Yeah. <laughs> Sloppy. Uh, I want to say there was, but I can't remember for certain. Okay. But there are cool things that can you can cause in one that pay off in later. What okay. video game has the most graphic... Graphic might not be the right word for it, but like the most detailed sexual Leisure Suit Larry encounter, the most explicit. Yeah, like where maybe you don't see anything, but like it might not be suitable for children, kind of situation. I mean, I mean that's like banging games. Yeah, I mean, there's like yeah, yeah, that's true. Like hentai games, but I guess like, like a AAA like made by a studio. I guess I like in know. Witcher, for example, like when you bang someone. I never got. Hmm. I never got to bang anyone. Uh, um, Fable just like cuts a black. Well, I mean, so there are some games like <laughs> yeah. In Cyberpunk 2077, you could modify your genitals. <laughs> That's all I did. Huh. Yeah. To to like look like yeah, yeah there were like, like three size different penis sizes. Or, yeah. Yeah. And would you would it just be like the bulge in the pants, or no. would it be like naked? When you 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 put the disc for Cyberpunk in, yeah. Within 30 seconds, you're seeing dong. So yeah. yeah, when you said modify genitals, I was like, can you make it like a slinky or something? Like, it's just <laughs> essentially change what it is. Completely. Uh, Gary's mod, yeah. Like the size and yeah. okay. stuff like that. So, uh, girth. Yeah, slinky yeah. dick wasn't on there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, think, I think it was mainly size and cut or uncut. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I've been watching the Cyberpunk Edge Runners on been, Netflix. I'm about, to, I'm about to go through it. I'm on like episode five or six. It's yeah. really good. Yeah. It's like. Making me want to go back and play the game again. Which, which it, show? It, it, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Oh, Cyberpunk. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, Trigger did it. It's like yeah, my favorite. Animation Trigger did it, and it's it's really well the, done. The Cyberpunk, uh, the game is like one of the most top concurrently played right now on Steam. Yeah. Like it, it works. Is it a game now? Yeah, Cyberpunk? supposedly. It, the, yeah. the show's making me <laughs> oh, want to so play the good. game again. Yeah. I'm like, no, I've already been. No. I already got tricked uh, once. Uh, got apparently, it is good now. Oh, okay, because yeah. that, that happens. Like No Man's Sky came out as like yeah. a. Almost game. I like I, from what I, from what I've heard, this is like near the level of No Man's Sky. Ooh, shit. Of like how much it's like gotten better. Yeah, I played almost all of Cyberpunk, like the week it came out, and it was a pretty ropey experience. No, but it sh- was still like you could tell it was there was some good shit. In there. Yeah, I took the day off, and then I ended up <laughs> not playing it. Like I played for like a couple hours. I was like, I can't. But I, I want to go back now. Yeah, seems like it'd be fun. You can you can modify your genitals. Yeah. Modify your genitals. Genitals. <laughs> Genitalia. I really wanted to move somewhere else in Cyberpunk. Like yeah. a different apartment. Did they add in anything like that? Yeah. Like to they did? Yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh, cool. I like a game with a good base. When you can get shit and put it in there. Oh, I thought you meant like audio. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 New apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Level did, two. So did you love that about Grand Theft Auto? Like buying oh, different being houses able to, like, and stuff. Upgrade. Yeah, like when Franklin gets his second place. That yeah, was cool. I like, I like that. that. Hmm. I've been thinking about jumping back into Skyrim again for a second playthrough. Do it. I played it four times. What you, I, really? What? Uh, what? Out of the eleven possible systems, what are you gonna play it on? 
I don't know. I you can play on Alexa. What? There's like a text based version on it. It's, oh, it's like a half sucks. joke, but it's, oh. it's it's on Alexa. Um, I don't know because I feel like part of it is being able to see everything because it's such a beautiful game. Yeah. But also, if it's on the Switch, that would be really cool yeah. to like being able to take it with me when I travel and stuff like that, or play it in bed. Yeah. Which is nice. PC you can do a bunch of mods though. Yeah, there is. That's a... true, which I've never tried because well, I played it. You on could probably Steam have sex. I got Steam Deck. You probably could. Mm -hmm. I played it on Xbox when I first played it back in 20. You probably 10. like on the 360, yeah. Yeah. What? You can buy it for sixty dollars on the Switch. Or 2011, whatever it was. Sixty dollars? It's sixty dollars. Because well, it didn't come out like that long. It was like last year, the year before, I think. Yeah. On Switch, particularly. Yeah, but Skyrim yeah. came out over a decade ago. Yeah. Look, I mean, you can have if you've never played it, you can have fun with it. Like, I just got a Steam Deck. Yeah, it's great. Just took it traveling, took it on a plane. I played. I just wanted a game that would run well on it. Yeah. So I went ten years back and I just played Dishonored, which I've never played before. Damn good game, actually. That yeah. Dishonored. Yeah. It's an old Bethesda game. Yeah. Yeah, it's like an arcane Bethesda. How was your yeah. travel? It was nice. Yeah? Cool. Went on vacation. Ooh. Ooh. Welcome back. Finally. Thank you. Yeah. How much you, does your Steam Deck have that good smell to it? That's what the subreddit's always talking about. I thought that you meant well, from like traveling. No, it's like new, the so. new electronic smell. Yeah. Sometimes if I'm like stretching out my wrist, I'll lean it towards me and the top vent will blow air in yeah. my nose. And I'm like, <laughs> it's, good, it's, like it's fun. Well, because it has this like is new it, electronic smell. Is it yeah. warm? It's warm. Yeah, it's warm. It's it, warm. But then, like, when you really think about it, it's like, it's just glue. It's like you're huffing glue, basically. <laughs> it's just the same thing with, like, new car smell. Yeah. It's just, like, sealants and yeah. glue and stuff. And you're like, yeah. good shit. Get me high. Yeah. It's weird that you can kind of tell the vibe of a developer. Like, I don't really ever pay attention to who made what game. But I pl I started playing Dishonored. I was like, oh, this feels just like Prey and Deathloop. Yeah. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, did they make the same game? And I looked it up. I was like, oh, all three are made by the same yeah. company. It's like, you can just feel it. Mm -hmm. you just mm, feel it in them. It. Not too many pockets, not too many salves, not too many potions. No, almost no salves. Perfect. Oh, interesting. <laughs> a perfect game. Just <laughs> slit in and shoot in and Slitting. magic. I give it five out of five salves. <laughs> Excellent <laughs> choice. I could use, I feel like games need more salves in general, but maybe not too many. I'm fine with salves. Just tell me, give me an example of what I'm doing with it. Yeah, well, yeah. With, I know what you're talking about. In, the, in Witcher specifically, you're probably confused because you have two different swords. That you yeah. have to switch between you play like monsters. You like oil them up, right? Too, right. That's the thing. Yeah. You like. Have you ever played D and D, Gavin? No. I feel like you would like it. Like based on the games you like and the kind of storytelling and stuff, I feel like you would like D and D. Like you'd enjoy it. I think the problem is Gavin would be constantly trying to break the game. Yeah, yeah. that's very true. He'd be like pushing at the edges and trying to like see where things fall apart. You Maybe at the okay, beginning, right? and then I would settle in. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, on a, on the Uno stream, one of the bad cards was roll a bag of dice, and I just went like, Pfft. and there was a, few, a couple of D20s in there. It felt good. One was a 20, and one was a 19. Yeah. Mm. So I added like 39 cards to our deck from oh, wow. <laughs> one You roll. won it bad. Plus all the other dice. I there. just bought a, a fake like prop die. It's like, it's a 20-sided die, but it's all 20s. Uh, <laughs> nice. You played D&D &D before, right, mm -hmm. Carrie? Yeah, we've done a, we've done a Ruby D&D Ruby &D &D show. Oh, yeah, of course. And every sugar watch. Ruby Please? Grim Eclipse. No, that was a no. Grim Campaign. Grim Campaign. Grim Eclipse Is was the, the video, video game. Video game. There's so many Ruby Grim things. A lot of Grims. Yeah. We just did, um, so for our D&D podcast, Tales from the Stinky Dragon, we're doing these clips that we take from the podcast, and then we act it out with these puppets that John's mom had made for us. It's really cool. With like whole sets and props and everything. They take like a very long time. We've made everything ourselves and filmed everything and edited it ourselves and everything like that. Uh, and they turned out really good. So if you want to check them out, they're on the Stinky Dragon social. So Stinky Dragon Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. So please check them out. Squad Team Force also posted them as Squad well. Squad Team Force yeah. also, yeah, they cross post, post it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. It'd be really funny to do a phantom shot in those. Like if something explodes or like something epic Dude, happens, just like... We should. We got to make that happen now. That'd yeah. Be we got to have something that's happened that... We'll find like a big fall. Stuff we always looks, small stuff looks really like big and weighty when you film it. So yeah. it'd be cool. Yeah, because it's not like... Flopping around because yeah, it's, it's like, all weightless. Do you, do you know if your character's lying on fire at any point? <laughs> I mean, probably. I, mean, I don't want to burn these dolls, but it's fun because we're using a very good camera with like a very shallow depth of field, mm -hmm. and so like everything has to be like the slightest little movement. Yeah. I've never gotten a better arm workout than puppeteering <laughs> these things because I would be like holding them up on the yeah. set, and then be like, move it up a little bit, a little down. Yeah. 
a little difference. A little bit split the difference. And it was literally be like quarter of an inch movements. You're to basically get exactly doing where you need it. physical machinima. Pretty much. When you think about or it. like a physical RTAA. Yeah. Almost. It's yeah. always funny working with like small stuff. Like I shoot macro a lot. Yeah. And it's like Dan will make an adjustment or like breathe on it. And I'm like, it's out of frame. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, it's like out of focus. Like it's yeah. gone. I, I can't see it. <laughs> yeah. Blaine and Chris have done a tremendous amount of work on those two. Like they help pull clips and they've been editing them and building a lot of like the sets and props. And I've never seen them like more excited about a project. Do, doing something that's really fun. It's very, it's also like just fun, cathartic kind mm -hmm. of mindless stuff. Of just, I want like, to see the new stuff. Pinocchio movie, the <gasps> Game of the Tour one, because it's a uh, stop motion. Really? really? I didn't amazing. know that was happening. There's like four Pinocchio things coming out. You know, so that's not the Tom Hanks one? No. That's Wait. on Disney Plus. No. Okay. I don't think so. And there's also the video game that's like Lies of P, which is a Pinocchio but, thing. But uh, yeah, that's stuff I was talking about. Please check it out. They've yeah. worked so hard on it. And I think it turned out yeah. absolutely we amazing. We have two so cool. out now. We're supposed to put another one out uh, Thursday. And then I think we have two more after that. So we're trying. We made five. We're trying five of them. See how people like them. Just because they do take a lot of time and effort to make. And mm -hmm. we're hoping, like, at some point we could have, like, built sets and, like, cool. set things that we could just set up and go. But they've been busting ass on them. It's a, yeah, it's a lot of work, especially for the initial episodes. Oh, because yeah. Because it's, like, it's almost akin to, like, either animation or video game development because it's, like, you have no assets. Yeah. Okay, you want to make <laughs> something. Oh, we need to make everything. Yeah. So it's like everything is just asset generation and, and you can't uh, just download shit. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like since it's physical. Or, or since it's so small, you can't just like go to the store and buy a broom. Right. You have to like make a small broom. It's 3D print it. Okay, 3D print it. Mm-hmm. Then you gotta paint it. It's true. It's still a lot. I just uh, typed the handle in the chat at Stinky Dragon Pod. Stinky Dragon Pod. Stinky Dragon. I uh, 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 sorry, I got a little distracted. I'm Kevin, uploading uh, you've probably footage from that thing we, we filmed earlier. <laughs> oh. I just realized, like, oh, I forgot to copy some footage. I got to move it over there. You might have, but I, so I apologize if I've forgotten because you you filmed so many. Have you ever have you ever done a slow mo guys with like a cat playing, like jumping yeah, around? Yeah, I did it with Smee when he was. He did. A kitten. Okay. okay. Like jumping on a fence or something, or jumping off a fence, or. Yeah, he did some of that. Yeah, I filmed him when he was like a few months old, and then when he was. Six. Okay. I wonder if you could get a slow motion video of him biting someone. Cause it, cause that's my cat. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just hang sure. out with him for yeah. a bit and he'll go for you. Again. I have the same. I got I got battle scars on my I, leg. I Dude, saw good that. Lord. Yeah. My cat, he jumped. He, it wasn't even anything like bad. He was just like laying on me and he heard a noise. So he jumped off me <laughs> and I definitely was bleeding. God damn. Yeah. Is that but the my, worst injury your cat's given you? Uh, no. He likes to jump, like, he jumps on me a lot to get pet, so he's, like, scratched my neck a few times, too. That was probably oh. the worst. Um, a little rambunctious. Well, boy. he likes to sleep on, like, he sleeps, like, this on me, basically. <laughs> With your he, neck back? Yes, yeah, so, like, I'll lie down, and I'll be like this, and he's 14 pounds, but his, so his leg will go, like, behind me and cut me a lot of times. Um, that sounds painful. It's not awesome, no, but I was playing, there's, like, this one toy, I posted a video of it, there's this one toy he has that whenever I play with him with it, he growls. Mm. Oh, I saw you post that. Yeah, yeah, he's a cat. Like, like I didn't know cats did that, <laughs> um, but he straight up like growls at me when I like try and get it from him. Um, then don't take it from him. He's trying to he's trying to give true. you a hand. Does he ever yeah. do the thing where he like arches his back and it gets all like he, he all I have to do is like run up the stairs and he'll be like, oh, so, yeah. wait, who are you? It's like I've known you your whole life. What are you doing? Did I show you the picture where it was from my security camera when my cat was sat on my shoulders mm. and we were looking out the window together <laughs> and then the cat jumped from my shoulders <laughs> to the little cat tree behind me Ooh. and he kicked my head into the window <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing what? <laughs> what? this happened yeah do you have I, a video i think i i love that i think like, i showed it on bleep <laughs> you are you are nothing to that cat yeah. you're like <laughs> you're a platform yeah, yeah. an inanimate object here fuck you <laughs> fuck your face you're literally a step on the way to where they want to be eat glass motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. This episode of the Receipt Podcast is sponsored by DoorDash. You've got back to back meetings, errands to run, and chores to take care of. Sometimes it can feel like there aren't enough hours in the day to do it all. I had one of those days today. So, what's the secret to clearing your to do list? A little help from DoorDash. We all know you can get dinner delivered, but DoorDash actually offers delivery on household items and groceries too. 
any drink, snack, or household item can be delivered in under an hour. Uh, I love ordering from Chipotle as much as the next guy, but the selection of local restaurants is a real game changer. Awesome listeners have probably heard of Bird Bird Biscuit. Local spot that makes insanely good breakfast sandwiches. Even they are on DoorDash. Love Bird Bird Biscuit. Why not have DoorDash bring it to you? Uh, with DoorDash, you're not just getting the things you love, but supporting the community you love too, from the stores and restaurants to the dashers driving around. Each purchase provides a new opportunity for everyone involved because with DoorDash, there's a neighborhood of good in every order. For a limited time, our listeners get 25% off on their first order of $15 or more when you download uh, the DoorDash app. Enter code ROOSTER. That's 25% off up to $10 value on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store. Enter code ROOSTER. Don't forget, that's code ROOSTER. 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change. Terms apply. Today's episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by Shady Rays. Sunglasses season is in full swing. There's no better option than our friends at Shady Rays. Shady Rays is an independent sunglasses company that offers a world-class product that's just as good as any expensive pair I've ever tried. Each pair of sunglasses has durable frames and extremely clear polarized lenses for outdoor adventures. Uh, Personally, I got the Black Timber polarized sunglasses. They've been awesome when it comes to going outside during this brutal Texas summer. Super comfortable. I can actually see when I'm outside without straining my eyes or feeling like I'm staring into someone's headlights. Uh, Shady Race also offers the most insane protection in all of eyewear. Every single pair is backed by lost and broken replacements. If you lose or break your pair, even on day one of having your new shades, Shady Race will send you a brand new pair, no questions asked. If you don't love them, don't sweat. You can exchange for a new pair or return them for free within 30 days. There's really no risk when you shop with Shady Rays. Their team always has your back. To top it off, they have provide 10 meals to fight hunger in America with every order and have donated over 20 million meals to date. Look good in your shades and feel good by making an impact. Exclusively for our listeners, Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the season. Go to ShadyRays.com. Use code RoosterTeeth for 50% off two or more pairs of polarized sunglasses. Try for yourself the shades that have been rated five stars by over 200,000 people. This episode of the Receive Podcast is brought to you by Backbone. What's holding you back from the ultimate gaming experience? Is it the hundreds of dollars it costs for your setup? Uh, or are you the busy, on-the-go type with only minutes to spare? Well, now you can level up your game with Backbone, the universal gaming essential that instantly enhances your gaming experience on mobile. They actually just released a PlayStation edition of their popular Backbone 1 that allows you to play your PlayStation games from virtually anywhere with ease. Uh, the elegant colors, materials, and finishes are all inspired by the design of the PS5 DualSense controller all the way down to the transparent face buttons and its visually distinctive floating appearance. Uh, It's super easy to install, works great. Uh, I can whip it out when I just have a few spare minutes in the middle of the day. Uh, I can play things like GTA V, Minecraft, hundreds of other titles. I just stick it in my backpack. and It's like, if I need it, boom, put my phone in there. It takes like two seconds, boot something up. Uh, All you have to do is plug in your iPhone to the backbone, enjoy console quality controls as you play console games via remote play or cloud streaming services or app store games. Uh, Go to playbackbone.com slash rooster now to order your backbone. For a limited time and get a free access to over 350 console games and perks. Uh, Plus, Backbone is now the official partner of Diablo Immortal. Uh, Not only is the game specifically optimized for Backbone, but you will also receive $10 of in-game perks. So find your next adventure at playbackbone.com slash rooster. Go. Here it is. Do you have the audio? It's just the (laughs) still picture. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's so Perfect. good yeah it's just basically a video of the cat midair with gavin's head on just the boom. door yeah and on the audio you can just hear like <laughs> <laughs> that like hollow glass sound. were you were you angry in the moment or was it just immediately funny oh i was laughing yeah. before he landed yeah. i think that's so great um no what what no someone in chat asked something awful um no get out what i was saw it? uh don't worry darling over the weekend don't okay. worry oh I've did heard... you how was that I quite en- about that. I quite enjoyed it yeah. actually. Yeah, I like I really like movies where it's like very mysterious the whole time and you're trying to figure out what the answer to the big question of like what's going on is going to be and then there's a reveal at the end. I've heard uh, I've heard it's the kind of movie you like want to see in the theater, you know, like it's like a real like movie. What does that mean? Stop what? That, that's, it. that's what he said. That's what Harry Styles. That's what Harry Styles said. Oh. About it. It's like an interview yeah. him saying he that like, there's a shot of Chris Pine next to him just like disassociating <laughs> just being like what am i doing like what are you saying i mean i i never want anything to be bad so i mean if it, if it was good then... i i quite enjoyed it it's nice. a, a movie that i would enjoy seeing again is it out in the theaters or did you see it like uh I with the, the fantastic fest oh okay mm-hmm. yeah saw at the alamo this weekend yeah i'll watch it okay it has like very if you guys have ever seen stepford wives that movie with uh, nicole kidman they're like creepy right yeah 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 it has like a sense of like uneasiness to okay. it <clears throat> um, almost like not dystopian, but I don't know. Like um, just like 
something's wrong. Something's off. Like creepy almost. Yeah. It's how I live my and life. And it gets into it pretty quickly, which is good. How, I mean, since everybody's talking about it, how was Harry Styles' acting? He was okay. Yeah. Florence Pugh was phenomenal. Yeah. Um, most of the cast was great in it. I think Harry Styles was good. He definitely had some moments where I'm like, oh shit, okay. Okay. Because I think good. this might be his first time acting. I think, I think is so. This, is this the spitting thing? Yeah. What was with that? What happened? There was this thing where it was at some film festival, I think, in <clears throat> France? Somewhere. Was it a can? Can, yeah. Okay. I think, it probably was, yeah. Where um, Chris Pine and Olivia Wilde were sitting down, mm-hmm. and Harry Styles came to sit down, and it looked like he spit on Chris Pine, well, and then sat down, and like they didn't say anything and it's to not each like other. He, you don't see spit, but like... He's clapping, and then Chris like Pine's reaction. something happens, and he looks down, and then he kind of goes like... Yeah, like he looks very angry all like, of a sudden. Very like, what the yeah. fuck kind of face. Yeah. But apparently he didn't spit on him, according to both of them, so, but I so also don't know what happened. Annoyed at something different, maybe? There's maybe, like a, a maybe, weird drama around the cast in this movie, which I don't know if it's all a PR stunt or what, but the movie was <laughs> we're, great. We're talking about it. Yeah. 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 It's the only reason I know about the movie. Yeah. Maybe he drooled on him by accident. It happens to me a lot. I, I'm always afraid I'm going to drool on someone. It's possible by that accident. like just something like fell off of him or like came yeah. out of him and he was just, I don't know. I mean, most people, most people if, they, if they got something that came out of Harry Styles, they'd be like, ah. Yeah. Ah. Oh my god, yeah. Fluid. He's in Austin yeah. right now. <gasps> I knew something felt better. <laughs> <laughs> He's at like he's performing for a few days, right? Yeah, at a couple shows, yeah. You gonna see him? I never got tickets, but I wouldn't mind. I'm not like a Harry hey, Styles Harry fan. Harry Styles, if you're but watching, I know you are. I wouldn't say no to seeing him in person. Yeah. I think up not, close. I remember when One Direction was like a joke. I know. And now it's like I guess he would kind of just a Bieber a little bit too. Harry They've never Styles. been a joke. <laughs> so I'm looking. There's a he's doing a show on when he's doing one today, but the show on Wednesday. The cheapest ticket is 162 dollars that I can see. And that I'm seems sure that's reasonable. Like top is that top spitting section. distance? <laughs> it is not spitting distance. It's, it is far. It is weird how successful One Direction were because they were the that was formed from a bunch of people. Was it on X Factor or something? I think it, it was, was X Factor. Something. It was a bunch of people who weren't good enough singers to go to the finals on their own, so they just combined them into. <laughs> And made a group. Where the, and I don't think they even the mediocres. Yeah, but then they were just like ballistically successful. It's crazy. Mm. Yeah, I mean that's what that. But none of them could stand on their own in the X Factor. Has anyone else other than Harry Styles from that group like taken off? Yeah, he, he seems Zane? like the, the Justin Timberlake of the the group. Very I don't know if I could so. name anyone from that group other than is Zayn one of them? Can you name anybody from In Sync mm. besides Justin Timberlake? Uh, Lance Bass, Bass. S- Steve uh, Dingle, Joey Fat um, One, right? Oh, yeah. No, that's... Uh, Was that Brock's Backstreet Boys? No, that's NSYNC. That's NSYNC. I, I know it's Fatone, but I just want to be clear. It's yeah, Backstreet Boys, you <laughs> that's have... That's how I remember. Oh, my God. You want me to look it up? Tell me why. How do I not remember any of the Backstreet Boys Nick name? Carter. That's not... Nick? That yes. Was, Nick Carter. Thank you. Is not it? Nick Carter. He's a different one. Aaron Carter and Nick Carter were like separate. Nick Carter is Backstreet Boys. Is he? Okay. Yes. Aaron Carter is his brother. Yes. He's not Backstreet Boys. Nick Carter, there was Kevin. Remember when this stuff like seemed like it mattered? There was Brian. Yes. Scary Spice. Uh, Uh, Gary Barlow. Uh, uh, AJ? Yes. Damn. Got one more to go. How Uh, many are there? Jesus. What did he look like? What color was his hair? Dude, I don't know. Um, (laughs) Oh, Wikipedia color. I'm looking at I'm looking at his I'm looking at a list of names. Kevin, AJ, Brian, Nick. (laughs) Oh. Oh, he looks like a douchebag. <laughs> I'm mad that you just said them. it right away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Here, say, wait, the... say them all one more time. You'll get it. AJ, Brian, Nick, Kevin. What's the first letter? H. Harry. <laughs> Hubert. Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm hen- blanking. Let me tell you? Yeah. Harlow. Howie. Howie. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. How did how did there's no way two people named How We got famous? <laughs> <laughs> how did that happen? So one, one <laughs> direction. Hey. One direction was Harry Styles, Niall Horan. That sounds like a fake yeah. name. <laughs> How- Howie. <laughs> uh, Liam Payne and Lewis Tomlinson. Past member Tomlinson. Zane Mowie. Tomlinson. Did you were you a big One Direction? 
guy. I'm assuming. No, I've heard that one song though. Which one? I couldn't even tell you. Seven, eight, <laughs> <laughs> I can literally back be every street, song. Back. All right. Larger Seven, Than Life eight. by One Direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it the baby you light up yeah. my world like no? I can't sing. No, it. baby is Justin Timber. Justin <laughs> Bieber. That's different. There's probably a song called Baby by like From everybody, every yeah. single boy band. Or and boy Drake. Artist. Drake's just a one man boy band, you know. Whoa! I've been saying that for years. Ever since the grassy. Do you guys have a preference between Backstreet Boys and NSYNC? Uh, Backstreet Boys. Yeah, uh, Backstreet Boys. Yeah. It's funny because I, whenever someone would ask me that, I'd always say Backstreet Boys. But thinking back to it, I think I liked more NSYNC songs. Backstreet Boys were way more famous. Were they though? Yes. NSYNC was pretty famous. Backstreet Boys always felt like a cohesive unit, and then NSYNC felt like no, Justin Timberlake and Friends. I yeah. feel like Backstreet Boys is more international. Mm. Mm. I guess you would know. I guess both of us so would know. Did, did England have <laughs> now? That's why I call music CDs. Yeah. 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 I had. I was, think what, what? I got now thirty two <laughs> is my first one. Okay. Wow. Were they, were they called now or was it like? It's like spot on. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it was in it. In it. In it. Music in it. <laughs> Music in it. Music in it. <laughs> Tunes in it. <laughs> Tunes in it. Oh. Were the uh, were you a Spice Girls fan? Being from the UK? No. Hmm. Okay. Well, fuck me then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, what's your thought on um, uh, malt vinegar? <laughs> Let's just go through some vinegar. Vinegar's all right. Yeah. Not too much. Yeah. Oh, you know what? It sounds like feet. Going back to uh, unskippable intros, Stranger oh. Things. Oh, yeah. I, I've good. never skipped that one. A very good one. Very atmospheric. One that... Again, that's, I think, another example of some relatively quick. Mm -hmm. Like very ominous, like 30 seconds and then out. Yeah. And there's a brief moment where it spells Rang Ting. And I think that's funny. Rang Ting. All the letters <laughs> 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 I've, I've like since I think series two I've called it Rangting. Rang I'm talking to me. You want to watch some Rangting? Rangting. I also love with Stranger Things how they they place the intro at like a good point in time within the show. Like it's not right at the beginning, but like something happens and then they play the intro. It's weird to me sometimes some shows do like the same show will sometimes do an intro right at the beginning, or then sometimes you get a little bit of episode and then an intro. And or then even like into two the episode. minutes of episode. Right, it's like, the, or, the, or sometimes you'll get like 15 minutes into an episode and then they play the intro and then it goes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've always got matches either like just different writers or they had to like cut stuff. Like the, the it ended up being like longer on the back half or something like that. So they're like, oh shit, we'll just have to get rid of the front. And uh, you, ever, you ever watch a movie and then like really far into the movie, the title comes up and you're like, Oh shit! What the fuck am I watching? <laughs> yeah, like you know, that Japanese movie, Drive My Car. Oh, I haven't seen it, but it's like a three-hour-long movie, right? Yeah, the the titles come on screen forty-five minutes into the movie. <laughs> Holy shit! I remember I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck? I've been watching this movie forever." Dude, that happens with R R R, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I I remember I, me and Trevor watched it a few yeah. m like a month or two it, ago at this point, but like. We kept wondering how long is this yeah. intro? It's, it's after they do like the handshake thing, and it's like R R R. You're like, oh my god! <laughs> We've been watching this movie That's, for forty minutes in, already. In Bond, sometimes where they have like the pre sequence mm -hmm. and then a long song and graphics. Yeah. But by the time the actual film starts, you're often like twenty five minutes in. Yep. And then it pops up. I, I'm probably gonna be the only person on this one camp on this, but what do you think has had not more of a cultural impact, but a better cultural impact? James Bond or Austin Powers? A Austin Powers. Better <laughs> cultural impact. Yeah. What do you signify as better? I like it more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I James Bond is like James I think Bond is 60 like, years old. I mean, it's, it's definitely had a and bigger. Isn't Austin Powers uh, kind of based off yeah. James Bond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like, yeah almost entirely. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, Dr. Would... Evil is Blofeld. That's yeah. True. You, you wouldn't even have. Austin yeah, you Powers, would, if would it wasn't James for, Bond. and James I think Bond. that that is probably the best thing that James Bond has done for us. Given Austin us Austin Powers, Powers? yeah, it, I didn't yeah. know you were such Austin Powers fan, Carrie. I just I watched the first one again not that long ago, and I was like, this kind of holds up. It's pretty good. funny. It's I think I watched movie. the first two of those in theaters. I don't think I watched Goldmember. The Goldmember is the theaters. weakest yeah. of the three. Mm. There's only three, right? I There's think only so. Three. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sadly. It's just, yeah. I like they're just the funny. I don't know, man. 
Uh, but going back a second to the, I think it's the only thing I kind of don't like about the Alamo Draft House is that they they bring out the check when there's like four, I think it's like 45 minutes left in the movie. And sometimes it's like kind of yeah. a like, not spoiler, like I'm not going to go that far with it, but it's like, oh man, we're wrapping up. Like sometimes like yeah. I, I wish I didn't know that like it was kind of like starting to come to the end, you yeah. know? I can see that. That's true. There's been times where I was just like, oh, okay, I guess, I guess there's not going to be another turn. There's not enough time. Yeah. Well, you should see Don't Worry, Darling. It's a bit of a longer movie, actually. I haven't been to the theaters in a while, so. Yeah, definitely do it. I'll go see it with you. All right. I'll see it again. I'm going to go. I I haven't been to the theater in a while, but I know the the next movie I'm going to watch is um, The Decision to Leave. It's the new Park Chan-wook movie. It comes out like two two or three weeks Mm. from now. Oh, cool. It's the same director who did uh, Old Boy, The Handmaiden, Stoker. So uh, he does like really... Really, really cool movies. Really, really good stuff. So yeah. I'm excited to see it. Have you the seen ha- the, the Handmaiden? Talk- was is the movie I've recommended for years? Yeah, and Hand that's Maiden? like yeah, that that's a fucking wild movie. Like I've you don't you don't get anything from the trailer. Like you watch a trailer and you're like, this looks like it's gonna be cool, and then you watch the movie like I I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 got, the, hey, a four point two out of five on Voodoo. <laughs> after uh after kai was on the podcast last week she told us about a show on netflix called dated and related oh, yeah. oh no and I, I watched a few episodes I'm already scared. Scared. it's not as bad as you think it's gonna be okay it's basically like siblings or cousins or like people who are related go on a dating show together okay and they like to find somebody else yes okay like okay. wingman Ooh. wing woman each other okay. kind of situation yeah i'm only i think i only watched the first two episodes it okay. wasn't the worst thing in the world but and then they fall in love with each other with each other yeah. and then they do 23 and me and they find out they're not related <laughs> <laughs> and everything's fine yeah what's that on netflix netflix okay netflix has a lot of Trash? Trash. <laughs> they also they have. do like Too Hot to Handle, which is like super trash. I'm finally watching like one of the longer running, it's not super long, but like one of the longer running animes I've watched, which is oh. Hunter Hunter. I was like, I thought you were going to say one of the longer running uh, reality shows. And I was like, which one? No. I'm not big. <laughs> I, I will usually, I'll watch reality shows if I'm watching somebody on YouTube reacting to it. Yeah. So I get like, like the best cuts and commentary. But not just it on its own. I got Gavin into Love Island. You did. I, I watched, watched uh, I watched four seasons of that. Was show. it a, a lot show? F Boy Island. That's a different show. Okay. Love Island is a show that's been running for quite a while. That I think started in the UK, and mm. now there's an Australian version and a US version. But it's a surprising show. amount of deaths. From yeah, that there's show. been some people like, who've on camera. No, they just the people go on it and then, I guess, don't like the fallout from it and. Ugh. Commit suicide. Yeah. And, Ooh. Ooh, wow. Yeah, like the one of the previous um, hosts of the show. A host? Yeah. Had What's wrong with people? I don't think that was anything to do with Love Island, though. That was oh, more okay. to do with like a yeah. domestic well, okay. issue. Okay. But yeah, that was sad. Great show otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Except for the incredible <laughs> tragedy yeah. that it inflicts on people's lives. Other than that, amazing. It's it, a crazy show, though, because it airs every day. That's insane. So there's like 50-some episodes per I, season. That that reminds me, somebody talked about this a while ago, uh, or came up a little while ago. Gus, I feel like there's something you would know about the the. There's a a show in Japan, in like the nineties. Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> dude, it was so good. Pikachu was awesome, uh, and it was this guy. He was put into an apartment, stripped naked, and he had to write like do like a not raffles, but like you know, like like sweepstakes. He, oh, I have heard of he this. Had, he had to like make like ten thousand yeah. dollars or something like that, just doing sweepstakes. He wasn't given food, clothing, anything. I've heard of. It. I've never seen it, but I've heard there's of. There's like it. a there's like a video like somebody made on it on YouTube, and it's it's insane because it's like they give him nothing, and 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 he has to like they don't give him food, they don't give him anything. He's like he makes rice without a rice cooker or anything. Oh wow! Like, yeah, I mean, like it, how could he do that? It's pretty fucked up. Uh, he like puts it in water. Like near a heater overnight, so it just like oh, so he doesn't even have a stove. Cooks. Like he has to cook no. it with a heater. Very yeah, slow. yeah. Because okay. normally, if you don't have a rice cooker, you like boil the start the water no. boiling, yeah. throw the rice in, then lower it to like a simmer and cover no it. Hot cover plate, it. nothing. No. I also well, he, well, he can get a hot plate if he wins a sweepstakes gotcha. to get a hot plate. 
I apologize too. I interrupted you when you were talking about okay. the anime that you were. Oh, no, you're fine. I was watching. just talking about anime. It's dumb, dumb anime stuff. But oh, speaking of intros, I never skip. I'm like six episodes into that show, and I never skip the intro. What's it called? Hunter Hunter. Oh, oh, Hunter. I saw um, you tweeting about it. Yeah, I have, I have this thread now that's like just only going if you want spoilers, but it's just like every every a few things. But th- there's this like notoriously long arc in it. Like every other season up to that point is like 15 or 20 episodes or so, and the fifth season is it's a 60 season arc or 60 oh episode arc and i'm just like getting started on that now so it's good and it's fun how long are the episodes like 30 minutes yeah 22 oh, that's perfect yeah no yeah. i, I, but it's I still like 60 episodes is still like 20 hours of content yeah i think i just appreciate shows that have like shorter episodes because yeah. it's just like that. you could stop like you could yeah. watch a couple episodes and stop rather than like feel like obligated that, to watch mm-hmm. the whole thing Th- that works sometimes but i feel like there's some genres and some shows where it doesn't work like, there's a show on Hulu right now called The Patient. I don't know if anybody else is watching mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. It's got Steve Carell in it, and it's like he plays a psychiatrist who gets kidnapped by one of his patients, and his patient Damn. is, like, a serial killer. And so, like, S- Steve Carell plays a psychiatrist who's trapped, like, chained up in the serial killer's basement. Is the that serial the one where kil- he sleeps on pancakes? <laughs> no. <laughs> the serial killer's forcing him to, like, give him therapy so that he stops killing people is That's it funny oh wow no it's very oh, okay. it's very <laughs> it's serious very but not. it's a 30 minute show but each episode's like 22 minutes long and you're like I, it's oh. not enough time to like really get into it. Like you start getting into it it's like the episode's over yeah for like, a show like wow. that i would feel like longer it makes sense yeah. but last night around like 11 o'clock i usually go to bed at like 11 30 or something mm-hmm. when, when you or, say go to bed you mean you fall asleep try to fall asleep okay yeah um, like. But it's it's different every night. Yeah. Sometimes it's way later. Sometimes it's way earlier. But it was like eleven o'clock, and we really wanted to watch the new House of the Dragon episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, like if it's like a 45, 50 minute episode, like that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. But if it's like an hour twenty, like that might be too much. Turn on it's like an hour sixteen. And I was What's like, on hour twenty. We ended up watching yeah. it. <laughs> I, I will say, if you you probably watch on HBO Max, right? Yeah. The thing I don't like about the time on HBO Max is after every episode they have like a behind the scenes thing. Yeah. So it adds like ten or fifteen uh, minutes to the runtime. Which I so, kept in mind when right. I looked at that. So yeah, it's like, like it says an hour sixteen, but it's like really it was like an hour four. Did y'all, yeah. I only watched uh, one thirty second clip of that episode of the first episode of that over and over again. Did y'all see the butthole in the first episode? Is someone's butthole? Yeah, no. you can see a butthole very briefly. Oh, let's bring it up Whose on, butthole the, was on the stream. Uh, it's some, some, there's like some orgy going on. I took a screenshot. It's, mm. you can't tell what it is. <laughs> it's the Gavin theory. Yeah, have I mean, if guys, it's far enough away. Have you guys seen Ambulance? Is there a butthole in no. that? No, but there's something in it that I can't unsee. And I, I'll, oh. maybe I'll wait to bring it up until Eric's here. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you zoom in, you can like, you can see it. Oh, wait, you could see like the full, like starfish. And Not many people have been able to commit their butthole to mainstream media. As far so as I know, it might be the first mainstream butthole. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> But that, right? You see you, you can show that. That's not offensive. <laughs> There's is nothing that there. Is, is that not <laughs> offensive, Tyler? Can I show that? <laughs> well, you might have to zoom in because it's too small on that camera. Oh, it'll it might have to be, yeah, yeah, it might have to be, be on your close-up. Do it on your close-up, and I bet it's too close to be offensive. T- Tyler yeah, look, me, it'll be fine. Tyler gave me a very solid, uh... <laughs> show it, show it. <laughs> <laughs> it's still kind of... We're going to have to get rid of that. No. no, I mean, you can't. That's just a gradient of pixels. You can't tell what that is. <laughs> right? Look at how quickly you found that. Thing. I just Googled House of the Dragon butthole. <laughs> it was like the top. We, we the had top some friends game. over and we just like couldn't stop. So we just like replayed it like over and over again. It was like trying to spot it. We're like, wait, can you see dick? Like, let's, like <laughs> we spent like 10, 20 minutes. We were all drunk. So we spent like 20 minutes like trying oh. to like figure out like what is that Did you say finger out <laughs> finger out butthole oh wow you slip. really do find it immediately when yeah. You yeah yeah that's a full butthole that it looks like a butthole it's, to me um it's surprisingly good show i've said even after last night's episode oh uh, like they do i haven't seen that one yet it, it, it it's it's really it's really good i, I mean, yeah. someone in chat that Don't, is full starfish uh <laughs> yeah who, and who do you think who do you think intentionally did this, and who do you think was scared about the fact that that show and Ring of Power, Rings of Power, is happening at the same time? It seems like Game of Thrones was probably like, "Let's do this on purpose." Mm. I don't. Yeah, I, one of them. One of them did it on purpose, yeah, right? Like one of them had a date, and then the other, per, the other, right? Did is it that a good move though? Because to me, it just makes me not want to watch one. Right. Uh, I, and I, whereas if they came out 
I guess that is the point. Well, I, if they yeah, came out it, slightly it, further apart, I would watch one and then the other. It like, kind of puts me in the like the mood for like f- fantasy that kind of in fantasy general, yeah. Stuff. So like when it's like, oh, it, is there a new episode of this? No, but there is Rings of Power. It kind of reminds me how like there's like a lot of times where it's like like whatever the generic Hollywood blockbuster is that summer. There's that movie that comes out like a month before that yeah. has like a very similar plot, but isn't the same. Yeah, it's, it gives me that kind of vibe. I don't know because it's like Game of Thrones. It's like they obviously came off. A terrible ending to the previous series mm-hmm. but they also know people really do love game of thrones but at the same time i could see amazon being like nobody's gonna go watch that let's put our show at the same time right i do i am really enjoying house of the dragon yeah i it's, think it's really well it's done good yeah. i i did i did not want to watch it i did not think it was gonna be good it's good and the the, the biggest complaint i have about that show is the fucking intro <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with the intro the music's really good i feel like it's the same as the Game of Thrones <laughs> it's, intro? It's, yeah, the, same, the music's the same. It's too abstract. Like, watching the blood flow to connect everything. Like, I, I don't understand what it's supposed to mean or what the cogs are supposed I'm to sure be. I'm sure you could find a YouTube video of people Maybe. going over. Yeah, but it's like with Game of Thrones, was, it was, like, useful geography for right, the, the show. Game of Thrones once show, taught you what the world was and told you who was going to be involved in the episode. Fair enough. Uh, so I thought that that was it. You kind of go into, like, the West World where you can learn something by watching the intro. This one, I feel like... I'm not sure. I haven't watched any. I haven't seen an explanation of it. If I had to guess, I would say it's bloodlines connecting, mm. and maybe like a history uh, of how people are rela- are connected through blood. Well, that's like a whole big thing with the Targaryens, right? That right. There's a lot of incest and connection I, there. I just don't know what each individual gear means, and it's uh, it's a little too abstract well, for me. In that, the cool thing on Game of Thrones too is that they would sometimes just add a new place, and in yeah. the intro, you'd be like, "It was a big deal." What they they that add new stuff be? for House of the Dragon as well. Oh, the did See, this is reminding Sweet. me of an anime intro where, like, the first like <laughs> half of the season, you don't know what any of it means, and all of a sudden something clicks where you realize that the character that just died, the whole time their background was white and it faded out, and you're just like, oh, they were gonna die the whole time, and I just didn't know. So maybe it's just gonna make oh. sense in, at the end. In the l- most recent season of Westworld, there was something like that where. You're mm-hmm. watching the intro, you're like, I don't know what this means. And then, like, something happens in the show, you're like, oh, there's been a huge spoiler right in front yeah. of me for yeah. seven episodes. Shit. I just, I ju- I'm just too stupid it's to like, know. Who. It's like Ruby. Yeah. <laughs> we, I mean, we do that at Ruby, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. intro for each Ruby season definitely, like, doesn't give away what's going to happen. But when you watch the season and then look back we'll at the intro, we group characters like, together. Oh. I mean, yeah, that's what I love about anime intros. It's like, you can tell, like, the whole story yeah. without telling, telling it. Telling it. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of Ruby... The dub. Uh, that's an uh, uh, unintentional segue, but the we're, dub that we're for, airing for Ice, Ice Queendom. Queendom. Yeah, we finally started airing the English dub. It's out every Sunday. You're in it. I'm in it. All basically every original voice actor's in it. Almost. Awesome. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Even Bernie. Even Bernie. As Ty Everyone Everyone's so surprised that we got him. We're like, no, we're gonna get him. Well, Don't worry. I remember. Hey, when- what's up? How you doing? <laughs> that was so weird. Wow. Uh, I was like, oh. <laughs> he's here. It was funny because, like, when I went in to do some dub lines, it was in a scene that had Yang and Tai Yang in it. Yeah. And they're like, oh, do you want to hear, like, Bernie's audio so you could, like, act against him versus, like, against the Japanese audio? And I was like, y'all got Bernie? Yeah. Like, how? You were, you were not the only person that had that reaction. Yeah. And uh, I think there, I guess there was, like, a studio a couple hours away from yeah. where he is. And. He just was able he to. He made like a day trip out there, yeah. Day trip yeah so that's what we'll do is typically like whoever records a scene first mm. will only record against like the original Japanese audio, and then like as we bring more people in, you have more to work with. Yeah, so we'll we'll play it back in the original Japanese, but then it's like all of a sudden, all right, now you've got four other actors, actresses in there. So it's a lot of fun. You it's guys hard. have been crushing it. It's Thank you. it's a process, like especially I I feel for Elena and like all the mm. audio engineers who have to. Not only like place the beeps in the right spot for something, and then like when you do a take, like put it in and adjust it properly it's, to fit. Yeah, and huge shout to Lena because like yeah, every she's been killing it. She's she's done every recording and it's like yeah, as we're going, yeah, she's shifting around the beeps. Go, we do a take. She moves stuff around. She's like constantly like muting and unmuting tracks so we can hear what we want to hear. It's like watching her do that is like insane, but um, it's like a insane amount of skill yeah. involved in it. But it's a lot, definitely a lot like, of love's gone into it. A whole new challenge mm-hmm. to voice acting, which like it's so hard to explain because you have like the monitor that shows the scene, you have another monitor that has the script, mm-hmm. and you have like the line that you're supposed to do, and you'll hear the beeps, and after the beep, the last beep, you give a beat and then do the line essentially, yeah. or deliver it basically right after that last beep, and having to 
read the line while also watching the mouth movement while also performing yeah. in an acting way. It is super challenging. It's like you're juggling a lot, trying yeah. to get it all. Yeah. I try to memorize growing. them so I could just watch the mouth movement. Yeah. But if it's like a long line of dialogue. The longest one's always the hardest. <sighs> yeah. It's tough. Well, it's also just, it's, it's rough too because it's like, you know, it's a, obviously it's a different language. So trying to get the performance right and get it to, to sync up in a way that's not awkward. Because sometimes like the pauses end up in weird spots. Yeah. So a lot of times we'll be like, okay, let's just flip it. Like instead of, you know, this, this, we'll do this, this. Mm -hmm. And then that makes it better. So it's, it's, it's been a, been a really fun challenge, but it's, um, it's also super happy with it. So okay. funny how, like, you're talking about how, like, in Japanese, for example, Blake. Yeah. Is two syllables, like, Blake. Yeah. Essentially. And so if you're trying to match the mouth movement where someone says Blake, we, it doesn't match the mouth because it's we just have that one with, like, syllable. Almost every character. Yeah. Cause there's like in, in, in Japanese, like, only N. Only the consonant N can end without a vowel. Yeah. Every other consonant sound like has a vowel right after it. So everything like gets extra. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a, like, cause some sounds can't be the end to words and you have to have, yeah. like I know There's, when I was like taking Japanese lessons, like you can't, I could never say my name was Gus. It was always like Gasu. Yeah. Like yeah. you always have to yeah. add. There's no like, way to end with just, yeah. yeah. Um, it's, it's so yeah, in Japanese, like my, my name is the exact same name as Kelly. Okay. There's just like, there's no difference between Carrie and Kelly. Um, that's been fun because I've been learning Japanese at the same time. So, like, I'll be reading the scripts and I'll be like, oh, wait, I kind of know what that I mean, I have no idea what that means. Okay, let me There, there <laughs> was one session you just busted out some Japanese when you were, like, reading something or, like, trying to, like, figure out how to, like, do the line <clears throat> somehow. And I was like, I'm trying. Okay, hello. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> That's Jap awesome. Japan's opening up. It is. October 11th. Fucking better. You going? I, I, I Is want, it going to be a giant queue well, to go to Japan? Pretty much. I, I want to go. I, I've been wanting to go to Super Nintendo World, you know, yeah. but, uh, you know, obviously the pandemic and they've been closed. Uh, I may go in the spring, like, because I feel like it's going to be a crush of people right now. Maybe, like, once. Uh, Isn't spring when everyone goes for cherry blossoms? After though? cherry blossoms. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. so you're going to go in, like, April or May. Yeah, maybe April or May. What's yeah. the quietest cool time there. to visit? Like, the least touristy? During COVID. Yeah, I think I think it's going to be pretty <laughs> fucked for the next year. Yeah, with yeah. people who've been wanting to go. I guess go. like historically, like I think time winter, winter, winter. I, I was going to say summer just because it's like so there, hot. There, a lot of people don't want to. There is that late summer, early fall where it's just always humid and disgusting. Yeah. So like Which September, is now right? maybe. Yeah. yeah. Like right around now. Yeah. Yeah, I really want to go at some point for the first time. I'm probably going to go just like right away. Just a matter of like, I don't, I hate going places where it's like too, too busy, especially if it just opens up yeah. and like everyone tries to go at the same time. Speaking of not busy, I, uh, I sent you that picture of Heathrow Airport from <laughs> weird Google Earth or Google Maps, I guess. And I think we think that they've like photoshopped or like composited images to get rid of all the planes. <laughs> yeah, if you or look, if it was, really? there was a day during COVID where there were no planes at any gate. And, and it's like, oh, whoa. If every you, yeah, single if you look gate. up Heathrow Airport in, uh, on Google Maps and do like the satellite view, the <laughs> airport's there, but there's no planes. Zero planes. Yeah, not even got, on like, the runways. Terminal or... 5 on the left and Terminal 2 and 3 on the right, and it's just there's nothing at any gate. Is it like, like a what? security what? thing? I, I what know. I speculated to Gavin was it might be like some UK law where they can't show it, so yeah. they have to... I wonder if it's out. the same like Luton and Stansted and Gatwick. Oh, I should look. But yeah, if you look, you made up at least here, one of those. Like you see some <laughs> of the gates. Like there's that, no that strip looks like planes. an abandoned airport. Oh, are those yeah. cars? It looks like no. Those are the gates. Oh, it looks hard, like the end of the world. Yeah. Uh, I. That's where so else would they be? Because mm. I was just thinking about like, yeah, where, where do airplanes go? In the sky, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> They didn't yeah, it's like it's a good point. Like, is there enough room at Heathrow to park all the planes? Like, there's surely there's, not. There's no planes at Gatwick either. Okay, oh, okay, so it must be a. What about what I about why? What about what were the other airports? ones he named? What are the other ones he named? Carrie. Uh, Worcestershire. Oh, look, there, <laughs> there's some over here, not at the gate. Okay, but okay. like off. Is that some South? Maybe they, they don't want people to be able to plan where the gates. But you can see the gate. Like, you know where the plane's gonna be. What about mm. like hmm. go to go to like uh, Newark or something like. Or even the Austin airport. It's like, a conspiracy. Oh, Planes don't exist. They're just taking them out. Where do school buses go to at night? What Think if about that? all of the oh. tops of planes, we've never seen it before, they're all mirrors? Dude, Newark has no planes at the gates either. Okay. Okay. Does Austin? What about Lax? Oh, oh look, there's one there. One plane! <laughs> We're looking at Heathrow right now on the screen. It looks oh, yeah, like. there's Terminal 2 and 3. Huh. 
And then Terminal 5 would be to the left of that. Tyler said Weird. that Austin has them. Uh, let's look up LAX airport. Which airports have planes at there? LAX has tons of planes. Okay. What okay. if what if on that you, have you seen the Apple TV screen yeah. that flies over? What if they removed all the planes? <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. I it's mean, it's illegal to look at planes from above. You can only look at them from the side or from <laughs> below. <laughs> from it uh, would be kind of cool if they're all like yeah, if they're. I guess mirrors wouldn't do what you're talking about. The mirrors are just show the sky. That's true. <laughs> they would have to. Be it would look like downward. shitty alpha. <laughs> Interesting. They're just all tarmac color. So just like in, sky shaped. Yeah. <laughs> sky. In chat spicy spenny says, okay, I can answer this. They do edit out planes so the actual features of the land can be seen easier, but the algorithm was designed for cars and other large moving objects, but ended up doing planes too. Mm. Is that true? Can you not see cars on the road then? Maybe what? like big, big cars? G- like just keep up like just the 35. Yeah, like yeah I'm sure by 35. See if anyone's driving to Heathrow Airport. <laughs> I mean, that, that, is, that is kind of a nice feature, though, of, like, like that way you can actually see what the, yeah, the ground looks like and I've not... I've seen cars, like, parked Yeah, I don't see... Well, I've seen stuff. cars in street view. Yeah. But this is, like, the overhead. I don't see any cars in the satellite view on the road. I guess, I guess that's what There's one on Red like. River. Aliens are going to think that no one lives here. Yeah. If they're using yeah. Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> what else are they going to use? Apple Maps? Oh, no, there's some here on 35. <laughs> okay. I couldn't see them because the yellow uh, for, like, the traffic indicator was on top of it. But there are cars here on 35. I like the idea of aliens just at their computer being like, huh, <laughs> this plane has got barely anyone on it. We could fly to Earth and look, but we won't. Uh, yeah. yeah. Where are they? Um, that is interesting if like there's like a, a folder. or the, it'd, be, it'd be cool to see like how, yeah, what pictures they took during like the COVID lockdowns mm. and like see what the Earth looked like during that time. Because didn't like the Earth start healing a little bit I and saw, everything I, got better? I saw yeah. a photo. Yeah. I think it was Los Angeles. It was like a few months after like the smog went away. COVID yeah. like lockdowns were happening and people were like, I could see downtown LA yeah. like from my apartment. Whereas like usually it would be all smoggy. <clears throat> yeah. Easy. When I first, when I, when it was first like okay to go out again, I thought it was just going to look like the last of us. <laughs> just like vines up the yeah, sky. Yeah, vines and like deer, and... like, like just everywhere. <laughs> that is what it felt like. There was one point, it was like during lockdown where I like went for a walk somewhere and they had like used caution tape to like tape off a park because they didn't want people using like the swings and stuff because it's like yeah. high touch areas. Yeah. And I was like, this looks like weird yeah, like... post-apocalyptic kind of situation where it's like all these playgrounds were taped off. and It sounds like a Black Mirror episode. It was windy, so the swing was just... Creepy. Yeah. No, thank you. Scary. Apparently, JFK has planes. Oh, oh. I would hope so. <laughs> um, He's dead. I though. know they're in the fucking sky, Gus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even though it's called satellite view, that's a misnomer. Like most of those photos are taken from uh, survey planes. Yeah. Oh, really? What? Yeah, it's like other planes that fly patterns uh, overhead in the sky. Are you shitting me? But you can see planes. They just tall planes, like high planes. <laughs> It's like it, you, you'll see them sometimes if you like look on uh, flight tracking sites. Like they just make like zigzag, like real tight patterns over an area, and they're just taking photos. Isn't that be, is that a better image? Like we've already got satellites. I think the it's closer. Yeah, this is it's it's you get higher resolution, what? and like satellites, you can get like, high, like like government spy satellites have high resolution on them, but it's easier just to like. Why don't you put cameras plane. in all the birds that are fake? Mm, they already have. Hmm. Birds aren't real. Do you think are there any birds on Google? Sure. Probably. So um, they, they, unless they're mapping they those out They fly patterns too. like that. Oh my god, that's that's gonna take so it's long. Just like a zigzag <laughs> wow. pattern. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Just that see. is mind blowing. Yep. So Gav, episode three of Survive Block Island Meltdown just came out. It's been so awesome to watch. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I'm I'm worried because we did a bleep face. Like special, mm-hmm. like where Jeff and Andrew and Eric and I all talked about that, and I feel like everything we've talked about so far in that bit that will come out when Survive Block Island is over, everything's been cut out. <laughs> we're talking about things that oh, of, on the show <laughs> yeah. itself. Yeah, it's like oh yeah, and then remember this happened. It's like oh, we're already past that, and they didn't use it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's good. It's good BTS content yeah. then, or to like hear what actually went on behind the scenes. Yeah, there's like entire. St- I guess because we. Like the team I'm on has won some challenges, so there's less screen time. Yeah, that's why. Like when, well, I can't, I can't spoil anything, but you could technically. I'm just I saying, could. you shouldn't. But you I could. will spoil that I'm still in it 
three episodes. Shocker. Three episodes in. Gavin's still there. That would be interesting to like give all of that footage to, to like two different editors or editing teams and just see like what shows they make yeah. out of it, you know? I, I wish the episodes were like ten minutes longer. Yeah, I felt the I same like way the when we, we did it too. I think it's just from a, like an editorial yeah. uh, the challenges bandwidth take standpoint. Up so much of the episode, it's like ah, oh, but all the meat is out of the challenge. I know. It's funny what you say. I know. I felt like the same thing with us. Like there was so much that happened. You're like, oh yeah, it didn't even make the cut. It's not even in there. Mm -hmm. Like I, like I I know at the beginning of the first episode of Meltdown, they were like, they they told you like food and water. It's gonna be important. And like with us, it was like we were constantly having to purify water. Water, but it's like especially when yeah. you watch the final cut, it's like. That's not even mentioned. It's yep. not even part of the game. It's like, that was such a fucking yeah. huge think, time sink. <laughs> I think there was like one moment of, in the first episode of our season, first season, of Jacob drinking unpurified water oh, accidentally yeah. and him like being like poisoned, like, uh, what do you give me? And like, that was the only reference to it, I think, the whole season. We were, yeah, we had like a pipeline to like boil the water, like find the water, wow. boil it, store it, you know, like all of this had to be working. Everyone... You weren't constantly working on it, but you had to pitch in every now and then to make yeah. sure certain steps were done. To me, the best part of both Survivor and Survive Block Island is when it gets down to the <clears throat> merge mm -hmm. and then like it really starts kicking off in terms of strategy and everything like that and like really honing in on the people who are left. Not to say that the earlier episodes aren't good because those are fantastic too, but like... I'm really well, excited. Well, without those the episodes, game. the other ones won't mean as much. Yeah, you know, exactly. like this, you do have to use them. This most recent episode, someone inadvertently by accident fucked themselves over so hard. On okay. The, on the chopping block. Yeah. They were like, they, yep. everyone turns and asks someone a question, and like they get flustered, and then accidentally tell the truth. <laughs> so and then oh, I was like, I Wait, what did you say? Like, no, 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 no. What I meant was, <laughs> I get to see early cuts just because, like, I I help give notes if necessary on stuff. I think episode four might be one of my favorites, okay. which is it's the next this one. coming week. Yeah, on Friday. Have y'all have y'all said how many episodes there are yet? I think there's nine. Yeah, because it's twelve competitors, and then you know okay. you don't. I think it kind of it's nine out. days. I think it's supposed to be. I have right? no memory of what happened in what episode. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you after this podcast, hmm. but episode four, just wait, <laughs> just fucking wait. It's incredible. <laughs> the, and the, if you don't have a first membership, get that discount for $45 yeah. so you yeah. can watch the, the season two. The, the challenges hey, have been really good. Yeah. Uh, and I've all, I've, look, there it is. Uh, they've also been yeah. like close. The challenge in episode three seemed like it was like neck and neck. It seemed I like know. it was going to be really close. They've all been really close, actually, yeah. all the challenges. Why is it first forty five? Because it's forty five dollars. Forty five dollars for the whole year. Because oh, only the first forty five people <laughs> will do it. So hurry, be one of the first forty five. <laughs> it is confusing though. That it's first forty five and then get up to thirty five percent off. Yeah, I was expected to be first thirty five. Yeah. Yeah. it's forty five dollars. It's usually sixty. It's actually it's not up to. It's right? over thirty five percent off. It's yeah. thirty eight percent off. It's the first forty five people. So hurry now. Let's get first thirty eight. I hate you. Just, <laughs> Uh, Do you watch Survivor, Carrie? Like Survivor, Survivor? Yeah. I did the first like four seasons. Okay. Like it was like a family thing. Like we'd get together and watch <clears throat> that and Big Brother. Yep. Um, and then I just kind of like grew up. It's me that I just, I just don't have cable. I would love to see you on a season of Survive Block Island. I, w I would love to. Would you do it? Oh, yeah. You if we did a season yeah. three. Are we doing a third it's, one? It's, it, it's funny. Watching Meltdown, I'm like, I want to get back in there. Yeah. yeah. I want to get back <laughs> in like, it was It was tough. Oh, Those man. were some long days, but it's like, Learning what I know after the first season and what watching these people on Meltdown, like, man, some of the mistakes, some of the things people are doing, like, yeah, why are you doing that? Like, you, you should know better. <laughs> it's hard you should know moment, better probably. by now. Yeah. Wes no. uh, has a friend who doesn't watch anything from Rooster Teeth. Mm -hmm. I think he mentioned that he had watched like a season of Red vs. Blue 15 okay, so years ago or something. So he's not cool. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he did watch Survive Block Island, okay. the first season. Cooler now. And was like obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. Having not known anything about anyone or who these people mm -hmm. are, he like loved it. So who do, who would have to butter up to get on the, the third one if there is one? Trevor. I don't think you'd have Trevor. to butter up anyone. I I'll think butter. if you're willing to do it, that can I love butter to have Trevor? It. Then? <laughs> Just for fun. The, if I could, I put him. Right? Yeah. The, yeah. Um, yeah. The first episode of the first season, the chopping block in the first episode of the first season of Survive Block Island, where things tied. Yeah, oh my god. And yeah. then tied. I couldn't and believe Which, that by the way, the whole first season is going up on the Rooster Teeth YouTube for free. So the first two episodes are already out and they're being uploaded every Friday. So if you never watched it, you can go watch that yep. and then see what you're missing and come watch yeah. exactly. Uh, Meltdown. Exactly. It's been, it's been. And Ruby Ice Queendom. 
There's, there's, there's a ton to enjoy. There's, there's, there's a lot. Watch. There's a lot, which is now it's where it's a good time to also, get a whole year. Uno the mo- uh, not Uno the movie. Uno Infinite, Infinite. Infinite. Yeah. Was put on YouTube the whole thing. as one, one single video? thirty-seven hour video. I can't believe they did that. YouTube like made special. Look, you can't. Up, I don't think you can upload more than twelve hours. Yeah. Twelve so I hours think, is the max. Yeah. I think YouTube like think pulled some stream, strings for us or something. I think even if you stream, like the vod yeah, breaks into cuts. shorter. Yeah. You called Mr. Tube. Yeah. We call- <laughs> I think I saw some someone comment. Ulysses Tube. They were like. I looked at it and I was like, it couldn't be only one hour. And then they realized it said one day, 20 or like <laughs> is that, 13 hours. Does that make that the longest video on YouTube right now? No, because you used to be able to upload longer videos. You used to okay. be able to, yeah. They took it away. Let's start deleting those. <laughs> that was such a good stream. But I I, uh, I started watching it, yeah. the 37 hour video, and then I put it to 0.25 speed. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> Last a week. 37. And that's already like a work week. A work week's 40 yeah. hours. <laughs> uh, so long. <laughs> I loved having that on. Did you I, watch any of this? No, I'm, I was honest. I knew that this was going to happen. So I was like, I'm just going to wait till it's like over. So it's perfect content to just have on. I in love the background. stuff like that. I, I yeah. love when we do events. So that's the same with Extra Life. The, yeah. the one really long time because like I started on the Uno Infinite stream, went home, did a little bit of work, just had it on in had the it background. On, yeah. yeah. Had it, I watched a little bit in bed and then I woke up and I was like, I'm not scheduled to be there, but I'm just going to go and be on it it's, again. Yeah. Like, I was like, I can, this thing on my TV, I can go and be on the TV now. For yeah. And it was like, oh, it's a cool thing. Did I tell deal. you what happened with Trevor? Um, so he was supposed to go on Sunday at like 8 a.m. Mm. You guys started Friday at 3 p.m. Yeah. And he had like done a shift, I think, during like Saturday at some point and some other time. And he was like, yeah, I'll probably wake up at like 6 so I could shower and get ready and then get over there and blah, 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 blah. And I also have to, I have to butter him up beforehand, you know. Exactly, <laughs> got to prepare him. Yeah. And I woke up at like eight fifteen, and he was still sleeping next to me. And I was like, "Oh shit!" Like he slept through his alarm yeah, or whatever. It. And I like turned on the stream, and there was no live stream anymore. And I was like, "Okay, they must have beat the game <laughs> or like, finished yeah. the game in the middle of the night." And he, when he woke up, he's like, "Yeah, you know, I woke up with my alarm, and I saw that it was over, and I went back to bed." That's really funny. But I was like, Smart. "Oh no, he missed it." I love the idea that you like woke him up, and he was like. Oh no! <laughs> I was so worried when we started that it the game might end immediately. I I was afraid yeah. of the opposite. I was afraid you all had come We'd up with a, a game that would never finish, like that you all had fucked yourselves. Yeah. Well, like eventually the world would run out of money to give. <laughs> but that was the I think the first punishment card we got was speed round, oh. and I was like, oh. that's a disaster. This could just. <laughs> immediately yeah. end. There was it a didn't. few moments it almost ended. Yeah. I think Jeremy almost won at some point and then it was like some countdown like just ended where you had to pick up a bunch of cards mm-hmm. all of a sudden. It was really, it was very funny. I'm, I'm really excited that it's all up in like one giant video now. Yeah. It's going to be the new like, you know those like chill hop, yeah. chill vibe study uh, beats yeah. video? Yeah, it's yeah we should be just like put that. like some lo-fi music on it. Doesn't even need it. Even just like the low <laughs> chatter and like mm-hmm. the kind of mundane talking and random uno, discussion. Uno ASMR. <laughs> Draw four. Draw four. Well, that's going to make people horny. <laughs> <laughs> I, st- I stand by it. ASMR is horny stuff. No. I, uh, I saw Can't a... Do Can't do it. It's funny you said. Did you watch last week tonight, last night? He's uh, <laughs> the, 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 the Brazilian voting machine. <laughs> ASMR. Yeah. The, um, the, I They're guess, so like, weird that to, they do that. Yeah. To promote voting in Brazil, they made an ASMR video with their voting machine. Yeah. And so straight up, it's just oh. like, and here's how you'll find <laughs> information about each candidate. And then just like <laughs> across yeah, the like, buttons. It's so weird. It's That's like an funny. actual ASMR video. But um, I, I sent a video to Gavin the other day. Uh, have you all, I don't know if you all have ever watched um, Kit Boga videos. He's the guy who, like, tricks scammers or scams scammers yeah uh in his, one of his more recent videos he usually does like a voice change or sound like an old lady or something right? right yeah he made an ai bot to talk to the scammers so that he doesn't have to do it anymore <laughs> uh-huh. so like it did listens yeah i thought i did That's did amazing. i not i meant to send it i didn't ah he sent it to his i was gonna send it to Gavin. i didn't send it to him. <laughs> um i sent it to adam baird ah uh, the other Gavin, <laughs> the other Gavin, yeah. the uh, Canadian, Canadian Gavin, Gavin. <laughs> uh, where he so he may instead of so instead of ha- him having to talk, I, I want to talk to you all in the podcast. That's why instead of him having to talk to the scammer, he just sits there and the AI listens to them and then responds back to them Whoa. based on what it can understand. And With like, his voice? 
like it's like all voice. It's like the kind of voice he would use that sounds like an old person. And so he's making this video and like there's a little timer showing how long the AI has been on the phone with the uh, the remote call center person. And like within eight minutes, he got the remote call center person to give the AI bot bank account information. <laughs> For the scammer? Yeah. Oh, wow. The scammer's bank account info. So he's like, all right, well, I'm obviously going to report these bank accounts to, you know, Bank of America, Chase, yeah. like to all, you know, the banks so that they close these accounts. Yeah. I, I love all those ones where like he'll he'll make like the fake like Amazon gift card or the like, Google Play Store ones and like it, she him with the old lady mm-hmm. voice will like start entering them in. It's just the dude screaming, just like don't enter it. I'm just gonna hit it. Okay, <laughs> it's like five hundred dollars. Yeah. Like it's all fake. Then he'll <laughs> go on Amazon and like buy a mobility scooter or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this one I'm gonna be racing. But, if you haven't seen his videos, they're so good. Yeah, it's it's amazing to me now that he could theoretically just deploy these and it doesn't have to do anything. Yeah. Just like at the end of the day, collect all the useful information, then hand it over to the authorities. And yeah. Be like, yeah, yeah. He, could, he could do like a hundred at the same time. Right. Yeah. It he could, could do a subathon where he just like leaves it on. <laughs> but it's funny because there's some, sometimes when he's watching it where like he's amazed, he's like, oh my God, the chat bot understood. Like, <laughs> like I didn't incredible. think it would understand what he was being, what was being asked of it. Like Dude. he's like watching it, like learn and figure things out. I, like, w- I would pay for that package on my phone. If I could just deploy the AI to a anytime it says sca- spam, spam likely, yeah. yeah, yeah, spam likely, yeah. Oh, they call you too. <laughs> spam yeah, likely? <laughs> it's best friend, Mister Likely. I've heard like you're not even supposed to like end the call on those because then they know it's like an active number. Oh, interesting. I just mute the ring. Yeah, so I I, I started doing. Uh, My dad answers every single one. <laughs> Why? <laughs> He'll just go hello, hello, and then they'll hang up. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. awful. Um, My favorite is still, this is like a long time ago, this person did this video where they had, they called, I think it was like a, a Chinese food restaurant yeah. and like placed an order and they're like, sorry, um, I'm just going to put someone else back on the phone. Could you just like read back the order to me and then they call another Chinese food oh, order? Oh God. And so it's like, all right, one, one lo mein, one fried rice and the other person's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. mm-hmm. And yeah. they're like, all right, total is, <laughs> is this. And they're like, no, it's it's this and it's basically like keep going back and forth it was like the most genius prank i've seen that i've also seen like uh pizza delivery yeah yeah as well that might might have been pizza delivery then no i've seen i've seen that one too okay like i've seen Mm -hmm. you know different versions of of that video it's i love harmless pranks i was just thinking that yeah it's like at the end of the day it's like you know not gonna hurt anyone or or hurting a, a scammer yes it might inconvenience someone in their place of work for a little bit but it does not hurt it's, it's not like, yeah, it's not literally hurting anybody. Yeah. Well, funny is often very inconvenient. Yeah. That's yeah. very true. <laughs> inconvenient and hurtful are two different things. That, uh, that's why, you know, I've talked about this in the podcast before. Like, I'll go out of my way and do inconvenient things for me just to have something to talk about on the podcast. Or it's like, I'll see a, a clear solution to a problem I'm having at home or in my day-to-day life and be like, no, not going to do that. Mm-hmm. We're gonna, we're going to lean into the the inconvenience of this just to have something to talk about. It's funny you said I was originally like going to try and like get up to something on Sunday to like have something to talk about today or have some more to mm-hmm. talk about today. And I ended up like literally sleeping <laughs> the whole day Listen, and then that getting sounds like a great day. It was it was awesome until two a.m. last night when I was like, why can't I fucking go to sleep? Uh, and then I realized it's because I was like, I literally s- slept like the whole day. All day. Yeah, just sleeping and watching anime. That sounds it was actually very good Sunday. Like a dream come yeah. true. It's Lord's Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Carrie's Day. Yeah, watching Hunter and Hunter and sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's pretty great. Yeah, I I I should have I should have done that. I feel like today was a very busy day here. You, you had, had a, very a lot of stuff. Gus was Gus was ran two different videos I was running for around. us today. Yeah. Crazy. I didn't I didn't normally like I have a, a there's a cadence to my week and the things that I do. Mm-hmm. And normally Monday is Prepare for Tales from the Stinky Dragon, which is tomorrow, and then prepare for recording Black Box Down. Right. I didn't do either of those things today. Yeah. <laughs> we we're just I was we're, we're we're too busy making videos. Like you all, I, I I've been less involved with the puppet stuff. I really haven't mm-hmm. done anything which you talked about earlier. You all have been doing that. So you all were doing the pup. Well, you all were doing the puppet stuff in the morning. I had to record Anma. Then I got here. Then I had to prep for two other videos that I yep. was going to make. So it's like. You all were moving out and cleaning up from the puppet videos in the room we film in, and I was like moving in behind you, setting up my stuff to film uh, two other videos. Like it was just we were that room was constantly being filmed in today. Yeah, yeah. and the puppet stuff gets messy. <laughs> There's like literally fake grass and dirt and like, fluids, like dried glue gun glue everywhere. <laughs> it's just like it's like an arts and crafts room exploded yeah, in that space. Yeah, I was. Uh, 
I was uh, wiping down a table and John was coming in with like a shop vac and like <laughs> uh, vacuuming up a ton of stuff under me. I won't say what it is, but I got to be in a video today. That was oh, fun. yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Fun. say what it is. I hmm? think so. Yeah. We did a. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I got to be in two videos today. <laughs> we did um, like a. So one of the videos I, 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 I was in charge of today was like a wine tasting video. So just like I bought a bunch of different kinds of wine, like some really cheap, some really nice and expensive. And then both of them, blind, Carrie and Barbara, were blindfolded. And I just gave them little sips of each of the wines. To be like, was any of it from a box? What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what do you rate this? Is oh, this yeah. good or is this bad? And then in the end, it was like, all right, your favorite one it was this one. It cost $2 or what, you know, whatever it was. One of my favorite ones, Concord grape juice. <laughs> <laughs> I also had grape juice in there like, to, the to kind of throw them off. It was... I, it was very highly rated. That's all. Awesome. Uh, yeah, and that there was, was another D and D theme video we did that you and Chris filmed. Yeah, before we did that. a little teaser for that on the Squad Team Force Instagram. Actually, yeah. we did a, a live video showing like right before we started filming it. Um, yeah, it's been it's been fun, but it, it was it, today was like strangely busy. I think between eleven thirty uh, and four thirty, I didn't sit down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was Literally. just like five hours of like running around like crazy. I feel like that's uh, a lot of this industry is like it's either you're doing that all day. Or you're like not trying to find something to do, but you're like you're figuring out what the next thing is going to be. Mm-hmm. It's like more prep, so it's well, like a lot of like time, a lot of highs and lows. Yeah, a lot of times it's boring. A lot of times it's sitting yeah. there and it seems like you're not doing anything. It's like, oh no, I've got, like I've got to read this thing, or I've got to reply right. to this other email, or I've got to you know write this thing, and it's like it's 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 very <laughs> like sit down and very chill and very mundane. And then all of a sudden you have a day where it's like you're just like yeah, you're not stopping the whole day right you just go go yep. go running around yeah. i had a ton of emails today i had like a very admin day mm. so i'm currently negotiating something with amazon but it's come through youtube so mm-hmm. i'm talking to amazon through google and it just how <laughs> does that work <laughs> i feel like i'm just dealing with the two biggest corporations on the planet and like arguing about what's going to be in the video <laughs> stuff. that's so funny. but i don't have any direct communication with the client who was amazon so yeah just, just like, tweet it true Jeff Bezos. Yeah, just talk like, directly to Jeff. Yeah. See what he thinks. Is it for s- slow-mo guys thing, I assume? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, y'all. What was, y'all. Fun, what was funny to me is you uh, sent me that screenshot of London Heathrow with no planes. And I thought it was cool. Like, I could see the little Google Google account logo was the slow-mo guys. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, that's weird. Huh? Like, Gavin is the slow-mo guys. And he's on the slow-mo guys account looking at Google Maps. Yeah, that's true. Google. Is that like your primary YouTube account? Uh, I'm often logged. I don't watch a lot of YouTube on okay. but I am logged in. I mean, you got in occasionally too. Yeah. Oh. You guys have a TikTok, right? Some of guys. Uh, apparently, I don't oh. run it. Oh, <laughs> I don't run any of the socials. Because, no, I, uh, I wouldn't think it's you just do. too much. It's a lot. Yeah, I know. It's don't tell anybody to... this, but I stopped checking my email a while ago. It makes your life a lot easier. What's that like? <laughs> well, I mean, like I like I can't not <laughs> check my email. I see, like I get notifications on my phone. Yeah. And, like, I'll answer ones that, like, I can tell are important. Mm-hmm. But if it comes by and I can tell it's not meant for me or, like, it does, like I'm or just, like, like CC'd on it. it. Yeah. Just don't. Yeah. I just don't. You, you know what? Because <laughs> this is this makes me a terrible employee. Nobody. Uh, I didn't say this. This is all alleged. Uh, I'm just, in my head, I'm just Sorry, like. Sorry, this isn't being recorded or anything. They'll slack me. You're good. <laughs> I'm like, if they need me, they'll slack me. Yeah. I see that. I think it's it's different for every it is. department, every person. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, nobody, nobody actually I'm, needs me. I'm thing. on top of Slacks, but if it's a if yeah. it's a big company wide email, I'm not looking at it. I'm, but that that's that's really what I mean. Like it, obviously, if somebody emails you. me, I will like reply to them. But have you ever slacked me? We have like eight Slacks. With I'm me. sure Let's I do slacked it. you. Yeah. Nice, but I don't know. I've it was it's probably to be like, hey, you coming to the podcast or something like that. Let me see. Yeah, to be fair, the, the people I interact with most. At work, uh, they have my phone number. So. Gavin, our last Slack is October twenty second, twenty twenty. Ooh, I I had one time. I can't remember what it was, but I slacked you for something, and I went back because there wasn't that many. And I looked at what our first Slack was between each other. I had to delete it because it was something really mean that I said while you're filming a video to try and get your attention. Oh. <laughs> but oh, just you delete it out of context. I was like, this cannot <laughs> exist on the internet. I'll tell you. I'll tell you later. But I just like. I have to get rid of this. <laughs> I have to get rid of this. Burn the evidence. Yeah. So our first ever Slack together is me sending you a photo of us, mm. a board photo, where Bernie is like in between <laughs> us, like falling asleep. <laughs> That's Bernie. That's the photo. He he was texting me right before this podcast. Yeah. Do you think 
and it happens quite a lot, like almost every week around this time. Do you think his body is so used to talking <laughs> like to me at this time on the on the he, week? He gets all hyped for it. Yeah. There was one time where he I, he texted me while we were doing a pre-record of this podcast, and I took a, a video of me <laughs> in this chair, and I'm like, hey. <laughs> I one of the last things I slacked Gavin was a factorial video <laughs> in November of 2020 <laughs> when I so blew up a bunch of shit. Is that game? Is that game fun? It Listen, seems like kind of uh, game like I would like. It is so addictive. The highest rated non-Valve game on Steam. Wow. Okay. Uh, it's okay. very brown. Yeah. Okay. It uh, but. it's coming to Switch next month, which seems fucking insane to me. I'll play. I'll wait till it's that because oh, because it's getting controller support. Right. Okay. I'll, I'll play it when I, Steam Deck when it comes out then. Okay. I'll do that. I need someone to. That's another game. I need someone to sit me down and teach me how the freaking train signals work. Dude, I'm too when, dumb for that. When I get the train signals working, I'm like, yes, don't touch it. <laughs> I can't even do the tutorial. Um, I'm, just, I, I'm like three into the train tutorial, and I'm just like, hey, just make this work. I'm like, huh? Yes. What? The I, I need to start playing it again, but I remember the last time I played, I was very happy because for the first time, like I, di- I didn't have to extend my bases as much. Like I built automated mining facilities that would load into a train and when the train was full it would bring it to my main base unload and send an empty train back like i was like oh and then i had two different locations sharing the same track with the signaling so that they wouldn't collide right so that you could unload them and one would queue and then it would be gone the next one would come is in kind of like sim city like back in the day um but kind of like but like way more in depth like complicated okay hmm I was like, if you took SimCity and Redstone from Minecraft. Yeah, kind of. Okay. Kind of. Okay. The, the basic premise is you're an astronaut. Astronaut? <laughs> you're an astronaut who's stranded on a planet. Okay. And you need to build a rocket to get off the planet. Classic. So it's like you start with like a, a pickaxe. Martian. And it's like, okay, you can get wood and you can mine ore on the ground. There's also aliens, but Gus turns off the... Uh... Sometimes I turn off the aliens. It's yeah. easier. The, the, the aliens make it difficult because they'll attack you. Yeah. And the more industrialized you become and the more pollution you make the angrier the aliens that get and the more they mutate and the stronger they get so they'll keep attacking you i feel like we could use that just t- t- take us back a notch <laughs> yeah. you know just like yeah we're getting uh, a little too cocky as a society people are saying you can just play it on steam deck now oh okay i thought you would need like controller support but yeah. if, if, i'll just do that the, yeah eat crab says you, you can just play it oh now. hell yeah after i finish shovel knight dig which just came out it was very Christ. good we we're talking about sonic earlier where you go right constantly. Yeah. This is a game you go down. Whoa. Oh, sounds it's like, like my kind of game, K Dog. Hey. That's a go all about going down. <laughs> all right, let's wrap this up. <laughs> Can all we right. fade out on that butthole? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys uh, next time. Go watch the butthole. Bye. House of the Butthole. I once heard someone.